January 23rd, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Uh, the new camera angle is because the tree is drying, so, and that's usually where I set my camera in that area. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of fun doing it. Can't wait for it to dry so I can paint it. And then I will show you the finished product. Don't worry. So let's get on to uh, a, a pretty light day, actually, news wise. Extinction Protocol, Nevada's Mysterious Quakes Swarm, Nine Quakes in Four Days. In Hawthorne, Nevada, four earthquakes have struck in about two hours' time in a remote area of western Nevada. U.S. Geological Survey says a 3.8 magnitude trembler stuck, struck around 9.26 a.m. Saturday, about 14 miles east of Mineral, Mineral County, city of Hawthorne, and 167 miles east of Sacramento, California. It was followed three minutes later by a 4.3 magnitude quake about eight miles southeast of Hawthorne. Then a 3.9, roughly at the same area at 11.21. A fourth quake, this one with a magnitude of 3.2, was recorded at 11.27. So they're having some issues there. Unexplained tremors and booming noise reported in small town in the United Kingdom. Uh, in Essex, a market town was shaken by a huge explosion after an unexplained occurrence left terrified re residents believing that a meteorite had crashed to the earth. Stories linked below. Uh, 700, or 70 dead in South African floods. Uh, the death toll from torrential rain in South Africa has reached 70 with another 8,000 people displaced, an official said on Saturday. So they are still having flooding in Africa. Thousands of dead herring wash ashore on Vancouver Island. And research find even tiny oscillations in magnetic fields short circuit birds perception. Now this has to do with the birds tracking uh, the magnetic field they use for direction and how even a slight change can um, have great effects on the bird's directions. And off to Earth changes, uh, Scott.net. Um, there's the earthquake in Nevada story. Alarming NOAA data supports observations of North Pole rapid shift. That was yesterday. Uh, we have a volcano in Russia. Uh, the active Kaisman volcano on Russia, Russia's Kamachka Peninsula, and that's in the far east, continues spewing plumes of ash at height that up to six kilometers. A representative for the Russian Academy of Sciences Institute of Volcanology and Seismology said on Thursday, seismologists registered about 200 local tremors in the vicinity of the volcano over the past 24 hours. So that's a very active volcanic area on the Ring of Fire. A bitter cold snap grips Ontario. State of emergency declared in remote Ontario town. Listen to this. Temperatures as low as negative, negative 40 Celsius. Uh, mysterious gas leak off the Mumbai coast stumps authorities. And that's about it for what's going on for today. Now, uh, if I miss anything, please let me know, of course. And uh, if I catch anything tonight as this uploads for the next hour, <laughs> I will post it below under videos. Uh, until then, until next time, uh, enjoy what you can. Thanks, everybody.